Welcome guys, thanks for chatting to me today. Um, first of all, for those who haven't seen the film, and that's going to be most people at this stage because yeah. it's, it's not coming out till April, yeah. can you just quickly, and I'm sure you've been asked this before, but can you explain <laughs> just the, the basic gist of it? I'll let you. Okay. Um, the film's based around a young boy called Sean, who is basically playing Shane Meadows' as character, the director. Um, his dad's just been, his dad's died in the Falklands War. His mum's trying her hardest to keep him happy and sort of, you know, do what she can to please him. And he's obviously going to school with like, he's got some like flares that are like this wide and he's getting picked on and everything. Then he just randomly pops, he meets with um, the Skinner gang. And he instantly take they instantly take a light to him and vice versa. And he ends up hanging around with them. He gets the clothes. He looks the part, and he absolutely loves the gang. And then all of a sudden, um, the character called, uh, Stephen Graham, who plays Combo, comes back from prison. And he actually went to prison for Woody, who plays uh, my boyfriend in it. And he comes back and basically says, "Look, I've been in prison. Been having loads of you know. I've been thinking a lot, and I think we should take over the world." And he becomes. Basically been, the bad character. He's been um, introduced to the National Front in yeah. prison. Um, and kind of takes Tomo under his wing. Tomo's, uh, sorry, Sean's a bit vulnerable at that stage because obviously, you know, everything's moving so fast, he hasn't really got his dad around. And Combo kind of takes that that sort of role in a way, of like the fatherly figure. Um, yeah, and then basically it just all goes a bit wrong from there, so... And you, you both play the, the nicer kind of characters, mm. I guess, because there's some pretty nasty yeah. nasty pieces of work in there. Um, was that was that quite difficult? I mean, how did you... Uh, it's set in the 80s. How did you research the whole kind of the, the punk scene and all that type of thing? Was it, did you get out there and kind of try and talk to people? Or was it a lot of reading? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I mean, well, well we, we were born in 83, so we haven't got a lot of <laughs> great memories yeah. from, from back then. Uh, Really, when it came to just researching it and uh, trying to get it down to a T, uh, it was more talking Shane because it, I mean, it is his story and he grew up round about around that uh, era, so he'd be able to tell us exactly how it was, stuff like certain phrases that you'd use back then that you wouldn't use now, uh, and also talking to people like f uh, family, like my uncles were. Uh, Teenagers in '83, so they were able to guide me in the right direction as to uh, how to get to grips with the character uh, because it was quite alien to us playing something that we we know nothing about. And I guess uh, with with the '80s comes the clothing, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And I, I was going to ask about this because um, Andrew, you had some really cool hat action going. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get to keep them? I, I, yeah, I still Excellent. got my hat. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I, I was really, really happy with with my outfit. Really <laughs> happy with it. It was something that I didn't mind putting on every day. So you drew the lucky straw, I think. And yeah, and Vicky, you had. Well, I, I drew the long hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you had long hair before the? the I had uh, the longest hair out of everybody in the cast. So I think it was ultimately like you know, out of everybody they could have picked to shave all the hair off was me. But yeah, I loved it. And it, at first it was a bit of a, you know, oh my god, what am I doing sort of thing? Because shaving all my hair off that was literally to my bum. It was like. <gasps> You know, my mum was devastated because she's nurtured my hair for all these years and she's like, why are you doing this? And um, as soon as I did it and I saw it and I got my costume on and it formed the character, yeah. I totally felt like lol. And it was like, there was no way I could have played that role without the haircut. And it meant, it was such a big statement for the film. And there was another girl who played my younger sister in it and she also had it done. Yeah. So it formed a great relationship for us, you know, having the same haircut and... Yeah, I actually loved it. I really did. It looked, it looked great, and it's it quite ironic, really, because uh, one of the scenes involves you shaving Sean's hair. Yeah, Sean's yeah, hair. Yeah, so that was a tragic day. <laughs>